What is up, 5.9 Gamers? It is Get Right here, back on 5.9 Gaming Mobile, and today we are here with the Dokkan Battle Celebration info for the 17 and 18 Dokkan Fest celebration. I suppose that's the best way to put it. Today with me, we have Troco to discuss all the details we have so far in the news section. Troco, say hello, mate. Hello. I don't. I don't know why I thought you were gonna introduce me as Gail, right? <laughs> no idea why. Whatever. Anyways, ignore uh, me. It's 8 a.m. and I'm tired. <laughs> Classic Choco, classic Choco. But of course, like I mentioned, we are going through the 17 and 18 celebration information, this Android slash future saga celebration that they've got going on. So of course, we have the usual uh, special missions and login bonus on your screen right now. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything too insane there. But of course, we do have the 17 and 18 banner as well alongside the banner units themselves, 19 and 20. They drop on the 30th morning, it seems like. Well, 30th morning for us. That'll be like 8 a.m. UTC, um, 3 a.m. EST. So, Troco, I mean, Iggy and I did the breakdown video. We love the units. We think they're going to be absolutely cracked, right? What do you think, mate? What, 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 how do you feel about the units now that you, you know, seen their details, you know, got some time off and, you know, we're here now. We're here now. So, how do you feel about them? Uh, why? What? Okay, Android's 17, 18. All right, fair enough. Give him a broken unit. Why is Jeroa 19, like best banner unit now just nullifying key base supers and healing from it that's so ridiculous I, it, it makes sense for the units but bro they're so good and tech era the, the tech android pair just nuking they're gonna decimate the punching bag event 100 percent. like even better than the gt units i i assume mm -hmm. just yeah. ridiculous units both of them uh it's great i am very uh yeah <laughs> very surprised at it though no, I 100% agree with you. And I'm going to add on a point. Like, you say that they're going to destroy the punching bag event, but, I mean, who hasn't literally cheated their way to it using the airplane mode glitch? I have because I'm a good law-abiding citizen, Gail. You're a good law-abiding Dokkan player. I see you, big man. I, I see you. Um, next up, we obviously have the banner for what is uh, Global Chaos or something like that. It's, uh, it's something to do with world turmoil. That was the initial translation, and then I think Goresh said it's Global Chaos. So it's basically villains who have, you know, terrorized planet Earth, you know, Cell, Booze, Zamasu's like you see on your screen, 17s and 18s on there. Um, there's a couple of other units like that. So kind of a cool category. I don't know if you've seen it, Troco. If you have, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, I glanced at it earlier. I think it was Alex. Um, shout out to him. He's our mod. I think he just said it was like um, planetary destruction with DKP. And it's like, all right, well, that works, I guess. I don't know. I took a glance at it and I don't really care because as cool as I think these units are, I don't really care for them so i don't really care about their mm -hmm. category that's fair that is completely fair but let's move on to the next page troco show us the next slide let's elder see what's kai. in the news let's go oh yeah. what a what a shocker the elder kai banner is back um but yeah the dokkan events there and of course they have extended some of the events from the dragon ball super future trunk saga so we'll come on to that in just a second of course you can see lr zamasu uh goku black or LR Goku Zamasu is returning, his EZA is returning, so if you haven't already EZA'd him, go ahead and do so. The new SBR stage is coming, it is going to be joint forces. I personally know one of the enemies is definitely, or I say, I know as if I've seen the database or anything. I have a feeling that one of the uh, bosses is going to be Jiren, because it's seemingly the most obvious one. You know, Goku and Frieza fought him, Evil Ken fought him. Seems to be one of the key villains to have like a enemy spot in this stage but yeah join forces uh troco what do you think about that getting an sbr stage and do you think will it be easy or will it be a bit more difficult uh gonna probably get destroyed pretty easily join forces is a very strong category these days uh especially if you throw a unit like jiren you get like lr kale and khalifa like bro he could be tech and you get a few turns of them like going off and you're probably fine uh join mm -hmm. forces i don't imagine will be too difficult but they could make it difficult because they know it's super strong. Kind of like how they did with, uh, you know, stages like your Saiyans and stuff, right? So it's yeah, possible they could do that it, as well. It's going to depend, like, again, if it is something like Jiren. Mm -hmm. And if he's not tech, he's going to be able to be cheese. It, they're going to have to, if they want to make it difficult, they're going to have to, like, scale it up a ton and then very selectively choose uh, the opponents. Opponents, yep, exactly. Um, of course, we're getting another battlefield. That's yeah, yeah, obvious. Yeah, yeah. Every new celebration gets a new Are battlefield, more stones. Oh, Mega Doom? <laughs> in this one, maybe? <laughs> Mega 
Maybe, Please. hopefully, hopefully we get that Omega too. But, um, but the big news from this celebration is that the AGL LR17 and 18 are getting their EZA. Now, we mentioned this in the morning. I was kind of hoping that they would f officially announce it, and they have. Very exciting considering, uh, you know, they had already done great same in 1 and 2 and skipped out on these guys. They did Hercule first as well, actually, because these guys were the first friend point LR, right? And then they did Hercule and, and uh, Great Sam and 1 and 2 first before them. So hopefully they are going to be amazing. One thing I also do hope, and this is where Troco will say I have a bit of copium. And I'll admit there's a lot of copium coming from me now. I really hope they add Fierce Battle to them. But the fact that they didn't add, oh, yeah, I think it was Shadow. Yeah. I mean, they didn't add Shattering the Limit to Goku, right? So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't add Fierce Battle to these guys. Um, The only issue is, like, you might think that they will, you know, link really well with the 17 and 18 that's being released. Uh, Iggy and I found out they only share two links, so nice. they won't. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they really won't. Yeah, you're still better off, uh, you know, sharing them with the 19 and 20 probably instead. Um, But, yeah, I'm very excited about it. Of course, once the details come out, we'll obviously have a video on them as well. Um, but also on top of that, the Super 17 EZA is returning, which means sub EZAs. Yes, the 17 and Hellfighter 17 are both going to EZA, which is going to be very interesting because obviously the normal 17 you're probably not going to use over the physical 17, especially when he gets his EZA. But Hellfighter 17, however, you know, he has a chance to be something special because of how he will, you know, be quite unique because there's no other Hellfighter 17 in the game, right? We thought Tech Super 17, the LR, was going to have Hellfighter 17 in it, but he didn't. So, uh, Troko, what do you think, man? Which one do you think you're going to uh, see being better potentially? Probably the AGL one because he's already a support unit. Uh, the Int mm -hmm. one will probably just keep him being an attacker unit, which I don't really know how well he's going to perform that role, but support units are generally good to have so i'm looking forward to the agl one definitely i can see that as well for sure for sure i mean hey maybe the agl one ends up being a bit better than the physical one for the time being and that actually could come in handy but of course obviously links come into the equation and whatnot because the agl one actually if i look at the agl one's links right he shares a lot of links with the new 17 and 18 android assault twin terrors uh, nightmare fierce battle it's quite a few links, so he might actually end up being a really good option to go alongside the 17 and 18 that's releasing right now, right? Um, so yeah, very exciting news about that. Let us know in the comments which one of the two you're more excited about, and how do you think the 17 and 18 EZAs are going to go? Move on to the next page, Choco. Let's go. Let's yeah. keep it rolling. Yes. Of course, uh, Nothing, Super 17. all irrelevant. <laughs> The Dokkan event for Super 17 is coming back. World Tournament's here. I mean, it's pretty obvious World Tournament's coming back because we do have the Raditz event coming back as well as the ZZA. Always happens as well as the Bulma support item. Um, I don't know if we've gotten an image for the World Tournament yet. Particularly, I haven't seen Luca Dokkan, no, which big like, shout out to him. we always get one. Yeah, we'll, all, we'll get one. We will get one. But I'm curious to see what the uh, unit is going to be, the World Tournament unit, because that could be something interesting, you know, I guess it's going to be... A uh, kid, like a future kid trunks or whatever, or a teen trunks or something from that arc. Yeah, a youth trunks, a youth trunks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some uh, maybe before he before Gohan dies or something. You yeah. know, the Gohan uh, trunks from before. May I? You know what I would like? I would really. Well, I don't know if they would do it because it's like a. It's gonna be a SSR only, right? They're not gonna give him a TUR immediately. But if the this would be a good opportunity for them to do a transforming uh unit for the world tournament uh, you know actual reward right that would be kind of cool um but yeah i don't know it's gonna be very interesting to see what else they will bring out um for the world tournament uh let us know in the comments as well what world tournament unit you think it will be Troco, any final thoughts about this celebration seems like a very basic celebration we haven't even gotten an official easy announcement outside of of course the 17 and 18 right so what do you think is there Anybody you're kind of uh, hyping up to be the next EZA? Maybe a future Gohan, LR, Goku, Black, and Zamasu? Who do you think? Yeah, part two part two could be ridiculous because it'll tie into the Christmas celebration. So it could be future Gohan, maybe LR, Goku, Black, the, uh, the tech one, and legendary summon banner of a uh, future Gohan, Zamasu, because his events are kind of here. I don't know. It could be really crazy, or it could be like nothing it could because they could just yeah. give you future gohan easy and he's like whatever just leave it at that i don't know it, well, it could I mean, be really high gohan I mean, is 
I mean, Future Mohan is still decent right now. He's got pretty decent defense. He's obviously been outdated for sure, right? It, but it's not like an it's an in Goku Black where it's like unrunnable kind of thing, right? Yeah. Um, I've actually still used him for stuff. Yeah, I used him. I used him for stuff as well. I think I used him for one of the um, what's it called? Um, I think I used him for one of the not IDBH stages. I think I used him uh, for a mission LG. in the G. G. I think I used yeah. him for one of the missions, and he did except he did pretty well, man. He did pretty well. Um. No, I, I agree with you. I think uh, definitely part two is going to be very interesting. It's either going to be, to me, it's going to be either future Gohan LR or LR Rosemasu. Uh, and a word of warning, based on how this has been going and how last year was, this could be another situation where the double raids banner is both on Global and JP. And the fact that we will get it as well at the same time. So just be wary, Global players. If you are watching this and you know you are wanting to know about the information and you're watching now, be, keep in mind, there could be an LR banner that's on both Global and JP and will have the double rates as well. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I would personally prefer it being a LR Future Gohan because, you know, Legends has done their one-armed Future Gohan. It's Dokkan's turn now to do that as well. I feel it's a good opportunity for them to do it. Um, but yeah, Choco, glad to have you on board for this video. It was a great pleasure. Uh, this information seems interesting. It's going to be more interesting to see what part two is going to end up being. Let us know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about it? Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more Dokkan battle content. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.